dependency injection is the core feature of spring framework around which the entire spring framework is built. It's also called inversion of control or IOC and we are going to start looking at that in this video. Instead of talking theory, let's take a live example. Let's say that we need to code a service for sending emails. So let's create a class for sending emails. Uh, we are going to uh, create a new package where we shall be keeping all the email functionality. Uh, let's name the package as mail and then let's finish and inside this now I am going to create a class say mock mail sender we gave the name as mock mail sender because we are not going to write the actual code for sending mails here now so let me copy the code from my clipboard and then I'll explain you what that code is. Let me import log. We are going to use commons logging. What we have just written is a send method which takes three parameters. One is the two which is the email ID where the mail is going to be sent and the other is the subject. And the third parameter is the body of the mail. And as this is a mock mail center, we are doing nothing but just writing the things to our log. It's time to talk a bit about logging in Spring Boot. See here that we are using commons logging for logging, but it's actually not commons logging. Instead, it's a wrapper around SLF4J. And SLF4J in turn will be using logback because by default Spring Boot uses logback for logging. You can know more about logging in Spring Boot here. And the log is by default written to your console, but you can configure it the way you want. So now our mock mail sender coding is complete. And let's now create an interface, which we shall be using in our code instead of the concrete class. And for that, I am going to use this extract interface option uh, let me give the name of the interface as mail sender and this is the method for which i am going to extract the interface and let me press ok okay so here we have got this interface ready and let's now go ahead and use this Let's create a new controller class where we can check this out. So you now know how to create a controller class. Let me name this as mail controller. Finish. Then we have to annotate this with rest controller. Let's import rest controller. Then let me copy the code from a previous place so that that will be faster. Okay, so now instead of hello, let's have it mail. And here, now we have to write the code for sending mail. So for that, we need an instance of the our mail sender service. So let's have that as an instance variable here. Let's import mail sender and mock mail sender. And then let's now write code for sending our mail here. So this code is now going to send a mail to abc at example.com using the subject sum subject and the content as will be as the content. And you know it's actually going to write to our console. And here let's write mail sent. So now we are ready to test our code. Let's save it. 
run it and then let's go to a browser and visit http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash mail so the mail is sent let's now go and check our console yeah in fact the mail is sent so with this code with us now we are ready to explore the dependency injection features of spring framework let's take a break here now and resume in the next video if you found this video useful please take a moment to like it by pressing the like button below and make sure you share it with your friends and colleagues it might be helpful to them as well and they will appreciate you you might also like to subscribe to this channel and do not forget to subscribe to my blog naturalprogrammer.com to receive free and highly discounted coupons on my full courses as soon as they get released.